and not even stay there for over 30 minutes and they'll give me a ticket for around 50 to 60 dollars for just being there for a short amount of time and i live behind that hole i had to park in this parking garage here it's not that far but it's almost like they're watching you and like waiting for the right moment to over ticket the actual hell out of you college campuses face a myriad of problems every day some of those challenges understandably garner more attention than others one of the lesser known concerns to both students and administration alike at North Texas is the lack of on-campus parking. At this point, the best option might just be to walk. The feeling that I get from, from, the, from the community, you know, oftentimes like whenever they see us like towing cars or anything like that or ticketing cars, you know, it's kind of like uh, they, they don't really like us, you know, and I don't really blame them. That was the voice of Tariq Parkman, a community service officer, who would like the stigma around him and his coworkers to change. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Well, it's been very not efficient. They take too long, and really, if they just had better customer service and did things a little quicker. It's plain to see that UNT students aren't happy. A short survey run by us at NT Daily showed that 12 out of 12 people feel that there is an overabundance of ticketing on UNT campus. The problems experienced at UNT are being felt by students nationwide. According to Mark Frumar from Spot Parking, the problems date back to the 1950s. Frumar says most of the problems are caused by an insufficient use of available parking areas and the reluctance by administration to employ a technological ecosystem. Regardless of the cause, mean green students like Matthew remain frustrated. But the amount of passes given out to accommodate those parking spaces, way too many. Uh, I get UNT makes a lot of money from giving out uh, and selling parking passes, but the amount they give out based on the parking spaces is not enough. And that leads to a lot of problems. Um, I feel like the people at the ticket office pick and choose what cars to give tickets to. For example, I've, been, I've gotten a ticket when other people around me were there for longer and I had a parking pass and they didn't even have one and I received a ticket. Tariq and his co-workers want everyone to know the good that they do in the community as well. But, but they don't realize like, you know, that we do more than just give parking tickets. We also, you know, start cars we you know we try to make sure that the community is upheld you know like me for example you know sometimes i clean the garages you know and then i mean like they don't realize that that there's an importance to what we do you know it's like people pay for uh you know parking passes right like the highland street garage ones right they're like they're pretty expensive or like the resident reserve ones they're pre pretty expensive you know and if you pay for something that's pretty expensive you wouldn't want anybody you wouldn't want anybody just you know parking in something that you pay for so we're just like you know making sure that people's you know dollars are put to good use after revealing all that community service officers do this was students reactions it makes me respect them more, and now I feel like a jerk, so... <laughs> no, I mean, they're, they're good people, uh, they're doing their job, but I feel like some might take it too seriously, but then again, when is taking a job seriously not good? That seems fine, I mean, that's good, I'm good on them, that's a good part of it, I assume. Did it change your perspective? It widens it, yeah. I didn't know that they did that. At UNT, the growth of the student population continues to outpace the growth of newly designated parking areas, which only serves to increase the stresses of everyone on campus. We all have the job to do like everybody else. You know, we aren't, we aren't in the business of like, you know, making people's lives harder. Yeah. You know, like, like oh, y'all are like, y'all are the worst that I have done. Like every single time I tell somebody like, oh, I get parking tickets, they're like, oh, you're one of those guys. It might be a struggle parking, but the community service officers are not the villains here. With your NT Daily News, this is Robert Hanley, signing out.